Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this one is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So this video was requested on my WhatsApp and they asked me to talk about forgiveness and how to forgive yourself and how to stop feeling guilty and this is something that I definitely had to work through in my own life and my own journey. No matter what kind of situation it is that you find yourself in and no matter whether it's other people that caused it or whether it was you or whether it was a combination of both, Forgiveness is an essential thing and it also, I feel like, really allows you to come to peace within yourself and within the situation of what happened. So for me, I feel like it's about acceptance. It's about actually looking at what happened and why it happened and like I kind of analysed it a little bit in a way, especially through journaling because you can just let your thoughts flow freely and express yourself and everything and through journaling almost daily, especially um, when I got out of a situation, like I talked about being in an abusive relationship before and when I got out of that, it took a hell of a lot of shadow work and also a lot of forgiveness for him and also for myself because sometimes you can kind of blame yourself for getting in the situation or for choosing those kind of people and stuff. So there's a lot of just emotional and inner kind of healing and transformation that needs to take place. And journaling was one of the things that really benefited me. And it might work for you. Obviously, you have to go with whatever technique suits you because we're all different. But for me, journaling really, really helped. And just being able to hear your thoughts and understand yourself. I feel like forgiveness is about understanding. It's about awareness, being aware of what happened, why it happened and then accepting that essentially and obviously that's not always easy especially when something really really bad happens it can be very difficult to even want to accept the fact that it's happened let alone forgive the other person or forgive yourself or whatever the case may be so I think it's about going easy on yourself and taking it one step at a time and addressing each thing as it comes in that moment because it takes conscious effort to be able to actually address this and look at the situation and actually see what happened and acknowledge what happened you know sometimes we're busy running around here there and everywhere that we're not even taking the time to really address it and look at it so I would say that it's about spending that time with yourself to really go within into your mind into visualization and meditation or whatever kind of thing works best for you journaling it out and really looking at what it is that happened and why it happened so the role that you played I found this to be such a huge thing for myself is looking at the role that I played instead of just constantly blaming everyone else like yes they may have fault in it depending on what the situation is, of course, this is very general, but really looking at why why you tolerated it, why you were there, why it happened, those kind of things from, from your own perspective of your own role that you played in it, and then looking at the other person and the role that they played and why they did that and all of those kind of things to actually be able to accept it. Like You need to know what it was and why it why it happened to be able to accept it you can't accept something that you don't even have any awareness of you know so just looking at it from all kind of angles and this can be a huge process and you may not do all of that in one go it might just be a case of like in the first time you do it you look at how you felt you know like how you felt in the situation how it made you feel maybe you journal out all of your feelings that's one step closer to forgiveness and to acceptance and to surrendering to the truth of everything that happened you know so it's just baby steps choosing to actually acknowledge it and look back at that memory and then working through any emotions that come up when you're looking at that because of course it can be very triggering and sometimes you might even want some guidance with this so you might want to speak to somebody and have them actually walk you through that process of visualizing it because depending on what happened it can be quite traumatic but it's definitely such a liberating process and I've done this many times and yeah just going back to the memory 
and allowing yourself to actually feel how you feel when you're there reliving it kind of thing and the more that you do this you'll be able to accept the fact that this thing happened and it will no longer be you kind of like rejecting it or shunning it or pushing it away and not wanting to even look at that memory and I feel like once you start to accept it you can then start to forgive the people including yourself that took part in it because you have to obviously accept that something happened before you can make peace with it so once you start to actually accept what happened then forgiveness can start to come up and also I feel like forgiveness is not even saying that it's okay that it should have happened or that it was right for happening or anything like that it's just saying okay this happened, I can't change it because it's already happened and even though it makes me feel sad or it makes me feel angry or even though I didn't deserve it, even though it shouldn't have happened and it wasn't right to happen, I accept the fact that it happened and then it can start to build towards I forgive myself for either tolerating it, sticking around, those kind of things, or for reacting in a negative way. Maybe you lashed out back or maybe you were disrespectful, like any kind of thing can happen. So it's like, okay, I accept the fact that I did that. I accept the fact that this is how it made me feel. And gradually you'll start to be able to come to peace with that. And then it will be like forgiving yourself. And then you'll be able to forgive other people because you've accepted that it's happened. Maybe you've accepted that they didn't mean it or that they were coming from wherever they were coming from. And eventually it no longer gets to trigger you in the ways that it used to, you know, like you can look at that memory and no longer feel sadness you just kind of feel neutral or maybe you look at it from a whole different perspective and are even grateful that it happened you know there's just so many ways to look at it and you're essentially reprogramming your mind to react in a different way and that takes a lot of compassion for yourself so the other thing that they asked was about feeling guilty and this is also something that I have dealt with and I feel like so many people do as well and oftentimes it's where we're not actually wanting to um, forgive ourselves or accept the fact that we did something, you know? And again, this is kind of the same process because it comes with accepting the fact that you did it, accepting the fact that it happened and that even though you wish that you hadn't done it, it happened and you can't change it. And I think it's also coming to peace with the outcome of that. So whatever happened, it then led to a specific outcome and when we feel guilty maybe it's because we're not happy with or we're feeling uncomfortable about the outcome the, the effect that we created so maybe we hurt somebody maybe our situation and circumstances changed because of what we did you know so having to accept the fact that it caused something and it changed something and really forgive yourself for doing it because we all make mistakes, we're not perfect and as long as you are aware of the fact that you made a mistake and you're aware of the um, effect that you caused, so if you hurt somebody, being aware of the fact that you even hurt them, like as long as you're actually looking at the consequences and you realise what you've done and you're trying to change yourself to do better next time, then I feel like that's enough, you know, because we're all human, we're all flawed. And of course, in certain circumstances, maybe not. That's a whole like good and bad morality type of thing. So I'm not here to debate on that. But just in the sense of feeling guilty within yourself, it really is about forgiving yourself. So that needs to be like a, a continuous process that you take baby steps with by accepting that what happened happened and you can't change it. But what you can do is now you know better, you can do better in the future. So by realising and acknowledging that and knowing that you're going to do better in the future and apologising to whoever it is that you need to apologise to and then literally just working on yourself to better yourself, to do better and to make peace with the situation that happened. And yeah, set yourself free because you don't have to carry the burdens of the past anymore. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely comment down below if you have any video suggestions or my phone number is also in the description box below, as well as all links to my music, my social media, my jewellery brand and everything else about me. One-to-one -one sessions if you would like to book a one-to-one -one session and I will see you in the next episode. Bye. How do we get to this feeling I'm feeling? 
Started this open up after the healing Flaws all exposed when I thought they could fade Wounds are exposed in so many ways 